we are as one and we are very powerful. Letting me know that I'm not standing alone with the battles that we are fighting to protect our rights and our livelihood. Empowered us to use our voice to work with, uh, with each other and also with other unions to bring about better working conditions. A good paying job for me and my family. Vacation time, sick time, so I could um, spend time with my family. An excellent health insurance package so that I can maintain my health. I've had to use FMLA several times and I've been able to keep my same jobs and I now have a pension plan. Our union pushes for uh, safety equipment to be purchased for our fellow workers to keep them safe so they can go home at night. Our union has given me the tools to fight back against bad bosses. Opportunities to further education for our members. It enabled me to expand professionally, to grow. We're building the kind of workforce that can do the best possible job for our communities, um, making sure that um, we're recruiting and retaining the best people and making sure that we're keeping people because make sure that where we work is a great place to work. Staffing levels, which uh, make sure that our residents get the services that they need. When your wages and your benefits go up because of our union, the bar is raised for everybody. The best place to start standing up for a standard of living is in the workplace with collective action. When we start standing up for ourselves, our coworkers, and our rights, we're also standing up for our families, our friends, and our future. Becoming an, a union member, an active union member, it has given me the ability to stand for what's right for myself and for others. Having due process and union and voice lets me fight for lots of forms of equity in the services that I provide as a city employee. You know is the one that is always negotiating for uh, membership across board, irrespective of your color, creed, religion, and ethnic ethnicity. They represent you wholeheartedly. It's protected uh, workers within uh, the facility that I work at uh, from being told that they're unacceptable because of their hair length the fact they're male or female, and whether or not they're uh, old or young, or have any kind of disability that otherwise would not infringe upon their doing their job. Our union uh, speaks out for the people in the community that don't have anybody else to speak out for themselves. It made me a better person and speaking and understanding people and going out to the community helping people. He has fought hard to expand university programs for minority students and poor and disaffected students. We help to feed the, the hungry. We have uh, food drives every year and uh, we, you know, we help the homeless and they help the vets. Do a lot of donations, we do volunteering, and we also provide legislation that you know helps support people in the community. The union has benefited our community by pulling together and electing worker-friendly candidates. It taught me the, how the political process works and how we could actually have a voice in that process and make a difference. Our union has given myself and our members the skills and training we need to organize around issues that are not specific to the workplace. We know how to plan meetings, we know how to talk to folks, and we know how to message and create change in, in our communities and our neighborhoods. It does so much. <laughs> you know, it really, it really does so much because when you have affordable daycare and affordable um, health care and, and equal rights and, and equity pay and you know, um, it just it just does so much.